Now thank you so much ladies and gentlemen for watching this video and please welcome back once again to my channel. Just in case you are here for the first time or maybe you are currently watching this and you haven't subscribed, I'm just requesting you to please subscribe and also you can press the notification bell so that YouTube can automatically update you by sending you the notifications immediately I post a video here. And to my subscribers, I really want to appreciate you so much simply because without your support, this channel cannot be where it is currently. So feel very much welcome as you watch and I really, really don't take your support for granted. So the former head of state, Uhuru Mwege Kenyatta himself, has now clearly showed that he is totally against reloading us anti ruto demonstrations, uh, the street protest, uh, the mass actions and the rallies that Reludinga has been conducting in some parts of the country. You know, previously there were these rumors that Uhuru Kenyatta was the one actually who was sponsoring Reludinga's mass action so that he can achieve a certain objective. But after President William Ruto's emissaries, together with the Kenyatta's emissaries, uh, met, uh, remember that Mamangina Kenyatta was the one who sent the emissaries to meet with William Ruto to convene a meeting in state house so that they can discuss on various key areas uh, that are currently affecting them. So I personally believe that after the emissaries issues between the two parties, uh, William Ruto and Mamangina Kenyatta and Uhuru basically are in a good working environment. And that is why uh, uh, Uhuru Kenyatta and Mamangina Kenyatta were actually added or their pension was actually increased. Remember the news that you saw recently that Mamangina Kenyatta's pension, uh, monthly pension has been increased and also Uhuru Kenyatta's pension is now started to be paid, fully paid by the treasury according to the treasury documents. So these are the kind of issues that came up immediately after the emissary issues between the two parties appeared. So recently, Relo Dinga was threatening to re, uh, re resume back with his mass actions and the street protest uh, in the country immediately after the Ramadan period. You know, yesterday, Relo Dinga held a meeting together with Azimio Lomoja Alliance uh, leaders to issue new demands to President William Ruto. So immediately after that meeting, that is when we saw Raila Odinga, first of all, is demanding for the uh, compensation of uh, the Azimio Lomoja Alliance supporters who were injured in the previous mass actions. So according, when you heard Kanozo Msioka speak, he was demanding the government to compensate the supporters or the Azimio Lomoja Alliance supporters who were injured in the previous mass actions who came out but they were injured by the police but uh, according to me what I can support is this for that child from Kibera constituency who inhaled a lot of tear gas until that was the cause of the death of that child you know that child ended up dying in hospital for inhaling too much of the tear gas for that issue I can support the government to compensate the family and for the shootout in Kisumu County and CIA County the, the, the government must look at that issue and for the student who was shot in, uh, the, in, 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 in the larger parts of the larger, of the Maseno student who was shot dead by the police during that act according to the police officer said that he was trying to defend himself because of this people who had and, and yet ran short of uh, the tear gas and the rubber bullets. So for him to defend himself, he had to use the gun. That is according to him. So basically what I'm saying here is that if the government must compensate, like what the Azmiyo Lomoja Alliance are demanding, then must consider out some various factors uh, on the grounds on which somebody was killed on the grounds on which somebody was injured during the mass actions or the street protest. Secondly, ladies and gentlemen, Relo Dinga and Azimio Lomoja Alliance are now demanding for the reinstatement of the Cherera 4, the former IEBC officials, because according to Relo Dinga, these officials were fired, others were forcefully, uh, was, were forced to resign 
by President William Ruto. So he is demanding the reinstatement of the four IEBC officials. You know, you can clearly tell that these demands that Relodinga is unveiling are clearly different from the previous ones. Because I remember Relodinga just said it very clear that let him, let William Ruto reconstruct the IEBC officials' appointment. Remember what William Ruto had done before? He had went ahead to appoint the new uh, a selection panel to appoint the new IEBC officials. But Raylo Denga was opposing that move and he was demanding that William Ruto must reconstructure the IEBC appointment and involve Raylo Denga. And that basically is what uh, William Ruto is currently doing on the IEBC side, on the bipartisan approach talks to discuss on this issue. But immediately William Ruto has now started to discuss on these issues. Raylo Denga is coming up with other new demands. And that, ladies and gentlemen, Ray Rodinga is now demanding the withdrawal of the draft bipartisan motion. You know, Kimani Ichungwa, uh, who is the majority leader, was leading the motion of the bipartisan approach in parliament. And they talked about various issues. The reason as to why William Ray Rodinga is now demanding the withdrawal of the motion is simply because Ray Rodinga will definitely lose if that motion is conducted in parliament. Remember that Elo Denga does not have numbers. William Ruto has the majority in parliament. So definitely William Ruto can still win in any motion, in anything that is brought to parliament. That is why Elo Denga is demanding the withdrawal of that, uh, that motion, which was led by the Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance and Peace, led by the majority leader, Kimani Ichungwa. And finally, ladies and gentlemen, Raylo Dinga is demanding, uh, uh, you know, uh, the cost of living to be reduced. I personally think that William Ruto is on a move to reduce the high cost of living. And that is why he, he, he announced uh, the reduction of prices of unga. It was previously 180 to 100, but it is currently at 155 to 160. I had some people complaining that these unga are not actually in market. What I can tell these guys is that just be patient. The people, the business people must, uh, uh, first of all, uh, ensure that they have completed their stock, their previous stock, so that they cannot encounter losses. So we must give them time to finish their previous stock so that uh, the prices of hunger can be reduced. So basically those, those are the kind of issues that Ray Lodinger is now demanding, the new demands uh, from Ray Lodinger to William Ruto. I don't know what you think. Let me your thoughts on the comment section below. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. This is actually my fourth video on this platform. So you can go and check out my other videos that I've already uploaded. Until next time, my name is Jason. Bye-bye.